Pickles is on scent. <laughs> he sure likes climbing around out here. Lots of fun. <laughs> also, there's no, you know, no cactus on cacti on the um, majority of it. <laughs> so, you know, he can avoid these little places. And, uh, well, it's like a playground. Like a playground. Well, it's evening. We're just out for a stroll. Looking around at the old bandit camps. Oh, look. Shipping container. We're right on the border of uh, my land. This is my land. This is my neighbors. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look how that sun comes through that crack. It's that. Pretty damn nice. <clears throat> Pickles gets a lot of these little Creepy crawlies on him. I'm knife flip flops, <laughs> so I'm not going to climb exactly where Pickles is climbing. Yeah? Is it too steep over there? Good choice. Little pockets of everything. Hmm. Yeah. find ourselves in a predicament. Ooh -ha. That's nice. Little picture, beep. Not so different from pickles, because I likes to climb on there too.
are you going? Going to the sunlight. <coughs> Trying to watch out for the, you know, snakes and stuff. That's nice. Um, out here, you, you never know. By camp, it's less likely. And um, out here, potential it's crazy hey. <laughs> you go boy you found the sunlight you found the warm place pickles always does oh. <laughs> also, Iggy's like to be high up. Uh, always got their paws up on something. You be careful, mister. And uh, just like that. <laughs> A lot of the photos for champions, <laughs> uh, the show champions and stuff have them posed like that as well. It's just interesting because they're, because hey, it's what they do. Oh, buddy. Oh, it looks new. Oh, it looks super new. Why are you so fresh? Why are you so delicious? It's probably a cow bite. <laughs> probably a cow bit it. Uh, well, I like the color anyway. That's super nice. Hey, mister. I got little creepy crawlies all over me, too. Eh, harmless bugs, I think. That's a pretty big chunk of rock embedded in the, the cliche. That's why I don't think that it's like created by you know, all the the sort of online, you know, they, they say how it's how it's made, but I don't believe it. They said, oh, it's just, you know, ground that over time just collects a lot of salt. 
No. <laughs> it's like a it's like a mud flow, you know. And uh Someone will figure it out someday, I'm sure. Nope, no, no. Yep. There's another one of those little spots. I think it would be cool to build some little, some little, uh, just a little camping spot, little house. And uh, rent it out. <laughs> Airbnb, not like you know cloth or or whatever you know. Actually, build something, but you know, like a small yurt or something. Yeah, losing sunlight. So I was, I was visited by some, some people out riding, <clears throat> which I'm right at the end of this road. So this is where they come. There was a, a, an old gentleman and his, uh, his friends. And, um, and he, he, uh, he's an old guy. He's, he's got, you know, a lot of history on him. And I, I really appreciated all the, the stuff he was uh, mentioning. He told me about, you know, he, he used to come up here when he was a kid. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, younger. And they had to come up and hike and play and stuff. And um, yeah, he's, over the years, uh, he's, he's come up to visit the, um, the stone cabin. Everybody knows where the stone cabin is. So, hopefully I do it justice and don't uh, take away from it, you know, at all. But it's, it's certainly got a lot of memories for a lot of people. Um, but he was telling me all sorts of, you know, cool stuff. I I, I hope I, I get to talk to him again. Um, you know, he's... he's uh, yeah, he, he talked about the, well, I guess back in the 1800s, there's, you know, there's uh, <clears throat> Where are you going, buddy? Uh, there were uh, cattle thieves and, and bandits that used to, used to camp out here. And um, there's like a sort of a small box canyon that's not that big it's you know i mean not big like square foot wise or whatever but it's uh oh how do we do this um and it made a kind of a natural um i'm sure they were camping up there <laughs> that's a great great place they've got all these like little flat places i love it uh yeah they used to uh, you know, get cows and put them in, you know, in the stocks uh, back in here because it's only only one way in. So they would, um, yeah, fence it off and keep the cattle. And once the the heat dies down, <laughs> we'll just. I was saying, it, it was kind of like, uh, you know, car thieves, you know, they <laughs> steal the car, put it someplace and store it, you know, wait till the, till the heat dies down. And then they, you know, bring it out and to uh, sell it or whatever, so. And, um, what you doing, buddy? It's a nice steep. <laughs> Cliff. Oh. Yeah. But it's, it's, um, yeah, let's get a picture of you. Oh, too late. Yeah, it's just really, 
really interesting to hear stuff like that. Um, he also explained the, uh, the, um, you know, there's a couple corrals of, uh, out here of just a couple pieces of wood and barbed wire left, you know, from a long time ago. Uh, but you can tell that it, it used to be, oh, there's some cows. Shh, don't tell pickles. There's a cow, there's a cow. He starts to bark and they, they stay out of the <laughs> area of our camp. <clears throat> Yeah, so um, there's like a little little thing of waterway and, and stuff down by the stream where they sort of, you know, punched out a, a bit of rock and made a little cement sluice and just to get the water to go over towards where they, they had the, the cows, you know, hanging out. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I, I suspected, you know, what, what it was for, but... It's, uh, it's, you know, a whole other uh, thing to hear it from somebody that's been around a long time, you know, and has been, you know, familiar with this place. And, um, yep, so it's good to, it's good to hear, you yeah. know. He was asking if I had, um, f you know, found the, the whiskey bottle that he left up above the door, you know, some, some place in the cabin, but of course it was not there. It's gone. It's one of the, the first things that disappears. Water, uh, um, water containers, bottles. I don't remember. Uh, we're under the sink, but of course those are gone. Everything, everything of value, you know, people come to, don't get under me. People come to, you know, places like this and just take a, anything of value, and it's it's a little frustrating because now it's my stuff <laughs> of value, and I don't want them to take it, you know. Uh, you know, but it's you know that the cab the cabin's been pilfered for. <laughs> However many times, I don't know, but, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's still got its little secrets, like the, the arrowheads, it's pretty cool, and, uh, you know, there's the floorboards and the, you know, the secret things under the floorboards, uh, uh, so we'll, we'll find out what's what's down there once I remove the floor and uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, Pro probably nothing. I mean, but it's it's been a long time. It's been what he he said it was a good fifty, sixty years since the the place has been built. You know, and. Um, so it's really nice. Um, yeah, so who knows, but yeah. So he was, he's got a, you know, uh, a close connection to the place. And so he, he's, you know, he didn't say it, but I, I kind of, you know, uh, could tell that he's sort of asking, you know, you know, he wants to make sure it's in good hands, you know, to, uh, you know, it's not going to fall to the wayside of the, uh, this little line of, of rock deposits all along there. It's pretty cool. It's got some nice, uh, Nice stuff like that. There's a lot of that up higher up, uh, thicker deposit layers of of uh, just heavy rock. It's like, you know, I mean, what is it? It's like volcano rock or whatever. Probably a volcano went off. 
left a whole bunch of little you know, pebbles well, compared to what, uh, you know, small, but you know, plunk, 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 all over the ground and, and uh, at one point, you know, but you know, the cliche was, what was it, mud on the bottom of the ocean? I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, but, you know, we've been growing there a long time. Looks like somebody's house. Love that. Look at that. Mm. That is fantastic. It's like crazy bird feathers or something. That's a pretty old tree. Look at that beautiful color. Stripey. Well, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'd like to hear some more of the stories. You know, like just, you know, when he was younger, hear about hear about this place, because uh, that kind of stuff, you know, I mean, it means a lot to me. Because I, I just, you know, uh, oh, this is precarious. Whoa. Uh, you know, it means a lot. This place means a lot to me. And, um, yeah, it's just a, so to hear, you know, some of the history and the, and everything, it just makes it more, more endearing, more, more interesting. Yeah. There's more of that, uh, uh, rock deposit layer up close. But see how everything has kind of that orange tinge to it. And, uh, has the, yeah, even get this stuff in there. Uh, just in, yeah, it's just a, just a potluck layer of every kind of rock <laughs> uh well not every rock possible but every every rock that was available <laughs> at the time oh, oh. uh yeah that's cool so i used to be doing screenshots from the video later because the re resolution is pretty good except for um I found one if I click the the camera button while I'm videoing I can uh it comes out full full resolution which I really like. Yeah, with the orange it always makes me think of uh some, you know, uh metallic properties, rust. And uh I remember coming up to this wall when I first came here the very first time visiting uh, this place. I was looking at buying it and I just fell in love and it was it was about this time in, my, of, in the evening because the sun was going down fast and I was I was a little nervous. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to find my way back out if it was dark. I had my phone. I had my GPS, you know. So it's not like yeah, it's not like I was, you know, in dire straits, but I, you know, it's pretty, Ugh. so many colors, one rock, how is it possible? Um, yeah, and I, I came through that V over there, because I had parked over there, in that area, and I came over here, across the border, of the land and was totally afraid of you know stepping on a, a scorpion because that's all I'd been reading about scorpions and snakes everywhere and it's not I mean they're here <laughs> but not not um 
and not everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, it's just so organic and beautiful. Jeez. Yeah, I, I came up and I was just, I was just, I wanted to touch the, the rock and just, what is this stuff? You know, like this uh, amazing, you know, rock formation. Cause you see them, some nice green here. This, you see them, I mean, like all over, you know, Arizona and Southern Utah and uh, Nevada, some places, but yeah. We're in a box canyon, Pickles. The bandits have got us. Yeah, no, that's... And I was just like, yeah, kind of breathless. I mean, you know, like just, just seeing all the, the crazy, you know, elephant skin. Uh, you know, that these these things have, you know, it's I got a little bit on uh, filming. I was just starting to f make make videos on my phone, and it was yeah, hand shaky and stuff. But man, it's just amazing, you know. And uh, I love that. Polygons. Yeah. The elephant skin. Yeah. There you go. All the little cubby holes there where you can sleep. Sleeping in the cubby holes. Yeah, you can see that, that line better now flat deposit of uh, rocks. But it's not just the rocks. I mean, that, that's higher up, but then you've got lower, you've got the, the change of, uh, you know, harder versus softer. You can see the softer is just below the, the darkened stuff or the softer is down here and uh, it gets worn away faster where the, the part that's protruding is, is the harder stuff so it doesn't get worn away by the rain. Uh, so it creates kind of a beautiful ledge. And now we're getting into the snake, snake country. Yeah. I was, uh, yeah, I only came up a little ways up this canyon uh, when I first came here and I was like, so amazed, but I wanted to see all of it. I wanted to see just, you know, uh, every bit of the land, you know, and, and it was just, it was like, uh, <coughs> it was just impossible because of the time, you know, like time was just, I had fit it into my schedule. I was between flights of all the, I was gone four places and I had to, squeeze it in and change a flight and lose reservations and stuff to, to squeeze it in. But I only had a couple hours to get from uh, Flagstaff over to here, get out to the, out to the land, see it, take it in a little bit, what I could and just uh, make it back to the airport. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yep, and then was on my way back up to Seattle. This is when I was living over in Poland, so it was, um, oh, that's beautiful. I was living over in Poland, so, uh, you know, I was trying to make the best of my time, you know, in the States, from place to place to place to place. And, um, <sighs> had to come see it you know uh, and I was just like I gotta come back I gotta come back to this place it's so awesome and uh hey buddy what you doing playing mountain lion yes you are bandit cattle 
that's where he is. Yeah, um, it is a nice place to put your cattle because nobody knows it's there unless they come in over here. I remember there was some kind of a movie with a box canyon. Silverado. Oh, that's what I'm driving. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what it was. There was some kind of cabin in a box canyon or something, but I was, I was young. That's where I learned what a box canyon was. And they were talking about it. And I was like, ooh, interesting. One way in, one way out. Bandits. Blah, blah, blah. Well, here's one right here. <laughs> and, uh, uh, luckily as the sun goes down, it doesn't get dark immediately because out here with the shorts and flip-flops in the dark, trying to make my way back, it's going to be, a, I'd find myself in a pickle. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a tree trunk. Yeah. I found a bunch of the videos I was doing was in the wrong resolution. It was in like super high def and not ultra high def or whatever. So it was, it was, it wasn't 4K. And uh, I want this to be in 4K, you know. Yeah, it takes a lot more space on my on my phone. That's for sure. But it's. It's also super beautiful. What you doing? You climbing? Mr. Mountain Climber. Yeah. Danger, danger. These huge rocks. <coughs> Very cool. Maybe they were gunfights. Maybe they were discovered by the posse. Those outlaws. Yeah, um, I believe he referred to them as outlaws, not bandits, but you know, I, uh, <laughs> I'm using my own words, I guess. Use your words. Uh, outlaws, cool. Mm. Looks fleshy. Ooh, look out for that one. It's a big. Big lump of hurt. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, even, I mean, like on a map, no way. This is, this doesn't even. It's not, you know, you can't, you can't tell on a map that this is here and, and not, definitely not, you know, Google Maps shows a bit, but it was nothing, nothing compared to what it is in real life. And uh, this like white caliche. Nature's cement. <clears throat> <coughs> Um, yeah, <coughs> it's very interesting. Oh, I shouldn't be climbing up here. Flip flops. <sighs> View over it though. See what's just beyond. I think we can go over there and pass the tree. I think so. Let's try it. Merk. Merk. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I like about the like the GoPros, the, the wider angle. My phone has an okay angle, but and in for photo mode, it'll do like half a half the thing, and it and it goes a lot wider. There's a lot of bones here, uh, little sprigs of something that used to be here. Um, yeah, so 
uh, you can get a little bit 